So I woke up and I grabbed me a bowl of watermelon as a morning snack before I ate breakfast. So for breakfast, I fixed me some oatmeal and some bagels. Uh, these bagels are blueberry and this is the butter that I've been using. It's more of a vegan butter, but you guys, it is the best butter I've had. Um, I really love it. And so um, with the oatmeal, I added some raisins and I sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top and I had a smoothie to go with it. This is what I had as a midday snack. You guys, if you have not tried the barbecue flavor veggie straws, I'm telling you, you will thank me if you do. These are bomb. I used to really be into the ranch flavor, but you guys, when I tried this barbecue flavor, I have not gone back. You will love these veggie straws in the barbecue flavor. Just saying. Now for dinner, um, this is what I prepared. Um, me and my family, we love black eyed peas. So I'm just um, about to soak these peas. I actually soaked them overnight. And pretty much all you do is just kind of fill it with water you definitely want to make sure that you add a lot of water because the the beans will absorb that water so this is the next day after my beans had soaked overnight and i'm just about to give them another rinse So I'm about to prepare the beans, I'm about to start the cooking process. You want to put six cups of water because as these beans cook, it definitely does absorb the liquid. So you want to give it six cups of water. And I start out on somewhat of a between medium and a low heat. But as the beans really start to go, I will turn it down a little bit more closer to the low because you really want it to simmer. You want it to slow cook. So now that that's done, I'm about to start preparing my greens. I love the turnip greens and collards. I always, when I cook greens, I always mix these two. And now I got me some smoked turkey legs and wings that I'm going to use as well. And I'm gonna use some vegetable broth for the greens. You can definitely use chicken broth if you like. So I'm just getting my broth um, started so that smoked turkey flavor can start marinating in that broth. And I do let it simmer um, for a while, a few minutes before I add the greens. So right here, I'm just rinsing off my greens. You can see it's already been simmering in that pot. It's some really good flavor already marinated in there. So right now I'm adding the collard greens first. And now I'm adding the turnip greens.
And right now, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm incorporating, you know, all the greens, you know, just kind of rotating them so all the greens can have a chance to be submerged in all that good flavor that's going on at the bottom of the pot. So I didn't show, but I added the the smoked turkey wings into my pot of um, black eyed peas. I don't usually add smoked wings to my um, black eyed peas, but I figure what not since I already had it. So these are the seasonings I'm using. I use onion powder. And you guys, I do not measure. I, I kind of learned from my grandmother when it came to cooking. She just eyeballed it. <laughs> A lot of my family eyeballs when they cook. So next I'm going to be adding garlic powder. Cumin. I believe cumin really just adds a little something different, but it's so good. Some oregano. black pepper and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to kind of get all those flavors working together and we're going to give this a stir and we're going to continue to let this cook let all that seasoning and flavors just really intermarry together. So this is what my greens are looking like so far. And these are the seasonings I'm going to use. I'm going to use a little bit of salt. Be careful not to be heavy handed with the salt. I'm using garlic powder. black pepper and also some crushed red pepper flakes I did end up having to use a little bit more towards the end before I served just because it wasn't as spicy as I wanted it but it really wasn't spicy like it wasn't unbearable to eat because we don't really do a lot of spice in the family but yeah so right now I am preparing some hot water cornbread so all I used was some corn meal a little bit of sugar and some hot water and just mix it up so right here this pan is supposed to be an iron cast skillet and this was my first time trying out making hot water cornbread in this um, iron cast skillet but I was a little disappointed in how it worked because it really stuck pretty bad you guys so this is what they turned out I mean they still was good but I didn't like the way they looked so I went to my OG <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and use this to begin with but you can see they're turning effortlessly Whereas with the other one, they were sticking so bad. So right here, I'm showing you guys the difference. You can see the one I used with the blue skillet, and this is the black one. See, the ones I used with the black one, they're more perfect. So I just wanted to show y'all, but they were still good. Now, right here, I didn't show, but I had basically took that turkey leg out, deboned it, and added all the meat back in. 
and I left the bone in there just because it still has flavor. But these are what my beans are looking like. I've already taste tested it. Everything is good. Um, I, I cooked some rice on the side and here is my cornbread, you guys. And this is the final product. This is what you call a good old home cooked Southern meal. It's simple, but it's packed with flavor, y'all. So good. This did not last long in my house. I'm telling y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.